I've got Matt, Molly, and Lori here, and they're each gonna demonstrate for you their version and how they practice bakasana, crane pose or crow pose, the arm balance. And then you're gonna take a look at them and see if you recognize yourself in, in one of their postures. And then I'm going to give them each a specific modification or variation or prop um, in order to help them be more successful in the pose. And then you'll have the chance at home to try them all or try one that looks like it would work best for you. And um, hopefully it'll help you develop your, your practice. So let's go ahead and just show them at home what you guys look like when you do the pose. So it's the arm balance, the hands go down on the floor. They kind of start in like a down dog position. They come forward, the knees rest on the back of the arms. And excellent, they did better than when they rehearsed. <laughs> so Molly's elbows are bending a little bit. She could use a little bit of lift. Lori's struggling a little bit to find the balance, good. And Matt, come on up. <laughs> Matt originally was having a hard time getting forward and then he actually tipped forward too much. So we're gonna help you balance back a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Matt. So I'm gonna put um, Matt's feet on blocks. Mm -hmm. And then you'll come forward and set yourself up for the pose, excellent. So what had happened before, can you just be there for a moment, was he didn't have as much lift in his pelvis. He was down much lower. Sometimes, you know, he doesn't have a lot of space in his hips. And so when he did the balance, because he's strong, he got there just by shifting all his weight forward and then just muscling through it. So now we're going to help you find a little bit more of that balance.